Hey, have you seen that video by Rob Bryanton called Imagining the Tenth Dimension? Great video. You might want to watch it before you watch his show. It'll make a lot more sense if you do. We'll put up a link. Maybe. From Star Trek to Heroes to Back to the Future, just about every sci-fi show you've ever seen that deals with time travel relies on the theory of a multiverse. First, let me explain why, and then I'll explain what a multiverse is. But we also need to talk about how linear time works, so let's start with that. Okay, so you find a time machine, and you realize that if you use it, you can go back in time and save your mom. From an accidental death, or maybe a bad hair day. The problem is you can't possibly succeed, because if you did, then you never would have gone back in time to save your mom. It's called a paradox, and it makes time travel a total waste of time. Why do you make me say things like that? But that's not the only problem. If you did go back in time, fate would somehow have to prevent you from making changes that affected your future. Especially your decision to come back in time. Your actions would somehow have to be controlled to prevent disaster. I mean, imagine if future you accidentally ran over past you. That would not only spoil the whole trip, but it would also be impossible because there's no way for you to go back in time and run yourself over because you'd already be dead. Big me just killed little me. Bummer. It's just a little bit of a problem. With only one timeline, you'd find time travel is absolutely no fun because you couldn't change anything. I mean, no matter what you go back to do, you would have already had to have done it to get you to the point where you would want to go back to do it. Again. But it would still be the first time. I mean, am I the only one that doesn't think that would work out well? There's maybe a good reason why time flows in one direction. Like your plumbing. The only way to make time travel cool again is to have alternate timelines. So, you know, you leave your timeline and you change something and you enter a new timeline and leave the old one behind. My question is, if you go back in time and you branch into an alternate timeline, then where did the old you go? I mean, did you switch places? Is he stuck back in the old universe getting dumped on with his life sucking? Why should you be the version of you that gets to get out of all your problems? Or is it even you anymore? Ooh. That's the basic idea of the multiverse. Multiple universes branching off of each other to fix your mom's hair problem. Rob explains the tenth dimension in his video, saying there are an infinite amount of universes within an infinite amount of possibilities, and an infinite amount of timelines. So, paradox problem solved. Wait, no. But there's another problem, an even bigger paradox. By the time we hit the tenth dimension, we're talking about all possibilities across all timelines in all dimensions. This means that everything that can be is somewhere out there. So somewhere in the multiverse and all the plurality of space-time, you're Batman. Even if you're a woman. Yeah. And there's one where I am the president of the galaxy. I want to switch with that timeline. Now here's the thing. Every outcome is not only possible, it's required. So there's a universe where Captain Kirk wears tinfoil bikinis and dental hygiene is totally unnecessary and gravity has been reversed. But only on Thursdays. I don't know. Are we taking this idea too far? When the playing field's all possibilities across all time everywhere in all dimensions, you really can't take it too far. Here's the real grinder. Somewhere out there, there's a being with power to utterly destroy all matter across all dimensions at his will. And he's called the Great Ugi Machu. Remember, infinite physics possibilities makes this possible. And there's a version of this being that can not only do it, but has done it already. And if it's been done, or it's being done, and there's no going back, then everything's already been destroyed. So, you don't exist. And neither do I. I mean, maybe we used to. But no, at some point, the Ugi Machu destroyed us before we were ever even formed. Wow. That's deep. That's like, way down in the plumbing. But if that's possible, then the anti-Ugi Machu would have come out and prevented it all from happening, so we're still here. So if all possibilities have to happen across all dimensions, which one is it? Paradox flows downward, like time and plumbing. The problem with the multiverse is it creates just as many questions as it tries to answer. Maybe even more. That's a lot of questions. It's like infinite questions across infinite spaces, across infinite time, in infinite dimensions. Yep, time travel sucks. The only way it really makes sense is if you can't change anything. Just one timeline. Me and you and our pathetic lives. Downhill, like the plumbing. Am I doing it again? Am I doing it in the multiverse? Wait, if I time traveled and we did this over again, would it be better than it is now? Not likely. If I met me in an alternate dimension, would I even like alternate me? Probably not. I'd want to supplant alternate me.